In this presentation, we look at a method for detecting localized dry spots caused by the presence of hydrophobic or non-wetting soil conditions. Please read the article on localized dry spots that is associated with this video, which will give you the necessary background. As a brief introduction, the temporary lack of soil moisture can cause the turf to lose turgor, causing wilt. Symptoms of wilt appear as a bluish tint or color to the turf. The wilted area on this golf green is highlighted with a yellow rectangle. If sufficient levels of soil moisture is lacking for an extended period, drought symptoms, the browning of the turf, can occur. Wilt and drought symptoms are alleviated through the application of water. However, in some instances, these moisture stresses cannot be alleviated even if adequate water is applied. In these cases, the moisture deficiency in the soil is caused by a hydrophobic or non-wetting soil condition termed localized dry spots. This photograph was taken in the early morning. Where the dew or moisture on the turf is not present, the turf looks bluish to a light tan color. These serpentine looking wilted areas are due to localized dry spots. The cause of hydrophobicity in sand root zones is a result of an organic coating of the sand particles. In this electron micrograph, this sand particle was located in a sand root zone where adequate moisture was present. Notice the relative clean and smooth surface of the sand particle. In this electron micrograph, this sand particle is entirely coated with an organic substance. This organic coating repels water resulting in a soil that is hydrophobic, which is resistant to wetting. To determine whether the cause of moisture stress symptoms are due to localized dry spots or not, we can do a quick test. The test is relatively simple and can be done in the field. The tools you need are a soil probe or a device that can take a core sample from the root zone. And then the second thing is a water bottle where a droplet can be applied. Add a drop of water to the soil core. If the water droplet is readily absorbed into the core, then the soil is hydrophilic, and thus the alleviation of drought symptoms should be able to be accomplished with the addition of water. However, if the water droplet beads and it does not move into the soil core, likely a hydrophobic soil condition exists. Here's a quick look at the steps in the field. Take a sample from the moisture stressed area. In this case, we are using a soil probe. Once the core is extracted, add a drop or drops of water along the soil profile. If the water droplet is easily and rapidly absorbed into the core, the cause of the dryness is not due to a hydrophobic soil condition. However, if the water droplet beads up and resists being absorbed into the soil, the cause of the moisture stress is a hydrophobic soil condition. The hydrophobic area is normally within the top inch of the root zone. By determining the cause for the moisture stress, in this case a hydrophobic root zone condition, management practices to remedy the situation can be implemented. 